Why are you having an iced fruit loaf at 10 a.m. before we go to the beach? Because English people never bring enough food to the beach. You will see, we will get there, and someone will bring out a little packet of crisps and a half-eaten tub of hummus and some brown bread or something. <laughs> well, I hope not. If this is my leaving do, I expect there to be cake and a better one than that. I would not raise your expectations too high, my friend. I I don't think a lot of planning has gone into this. Yeah, it does seem a bit last minute, doesn't it? My flight's at seven. Right, you ready? Oh, I've got some more sun cream to put on. Why do it now? Why not wait till we're at the beach? Oh, well, he'll get burnt on the 15 second walk to the car, yeah. It's true. Seriously? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, UV's a dangerous man. Dude, Australia's gonna crisp you up. Really? I thought I was gonna get bronzed. I don't really get why we're really going to the beach anyway. I mean, I feel like, you know, bowling. Bowling's much more tin. Yeah, seriously, the beach. I mean, why don't we just go to a gaming convention? Tim loves gaming. Well, the beach has very much to offer. Allow me to share with you my perfect beach day. I feel like we're going to the beach because Chris wants to go to the beach. Can we stop calling it a beach when it's literally a muddy lake? What, we're not going to the beach? A muddy lake. Right, who's ready for the beach? Chris. It's a muddy lake. What's new with me? Well, polyamory. I don't know her. <laughs> WTF? Seriously, who would have thought it? Not me. I was so sure no one was ever going to tie me down. But Miranda, fuck. I mean, she is something else. But seriously, I've fallen in love. Like, like faceplant in the floor, kind of fallen in love. Oh, I feel like I'm going to chunder. Oh, 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 m &S bag tucked in on the right. I always come prepared, don't I, darling? <laughs> it is okay. We are in comfy German van driving around English meadows. You wouldn't get it, Stoyan. I would, actually. I was stuck upside down in a tractor once. I was there for like seven hours and my eyes were bulging so much I couldn't feel my lips. And then, then I started puking, oh. but because I was upside down... Please, 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 can you just stop talking about being sick because see, pee... Oh. Oh, I just feel like I'm going to throw up. Please stop. Hey, hey, Tim. Tim. What? I have a great sick story, don't I? Chris, don't embarrass him. Yeah, yeah? should I tell it? Okay, I'm going to tell it anyway. So, Tim gets in from this night out and he is absolutely plastered. He starts to stagger up the stairs, cradling this glass of water. And me and Tim started downstairs just chilling, watching TV, when all of a sudden we hear BANG! And we rush upstairs and we find Tim lying on the bathroom floor in his pants, <laughs> having slipped in his own vomit. <laughs> oh, Tim. Oh, that's bad, bro. Yeah. In your pants. It was embarrassing. I mean, my dad took me upstairs and uh, I vomited all over my wardrobe. <laughs> he was in bits. <laughs> all right, I'll admit it. It is a bit random that we're going to the beach, but I've managed to borrow the next door neighbor's van. We're gonna have a positive day. We rarely do things as a family anyway. And also, Adrian has asked if he can shoot a short film in the house. He's basically remaking La La Land, but with sheep, I think. So, if all goes well, me and Ashley get a stay in his beach house in Miami. <laughs> Honeymoon, sorted. All I've got to do is have a great beach day.
Ashley, did you bring the grapes, the cheese, and the bread? Yep, here you go. Tim, I am slightly concerned about the spider situation in Australia. They're friendly, aren't they? No. No, Tim, they are not friendly. I am scared you will be bitten by a Sydney funnel web spider and die. Well, let's hope not. Yeah, you should probably learn first aid. Miranda learned when she was eight. I'd be more concerned about the snakes. I'd be more concerned about the socio-economic policies and their lack of diversity. Why don't we all just stop freaking Tim out about going to Australia? Thanks, Ash. Um, yeah, I am fucking nervous, though. Really? Yeah, well, I'm a little bit worried. I won't make many friends to begin with. But you're the kind of guy where people just come to you. I don't think you're going to have any trouble making friends, I'm sure. No. Oh. Amazing. Okay. Anyone for Chris's special game of bat and ball? Let's do it. Miranda and I are super open with each other. I mean, she knows everything about my, dare I say it, unhinged past. And I know literally everything about her. It's a very secure and happy relationship. I mean... I even had a set of keys cut for her so she can come round and watch Scandi detective dramas when the others are out. Her house doesn't have such luxuries. Do I mind that Miranda has a pair of keys? Well, yeah. Do I have the energy to do anything about it? No. <laughs> it's not that bad anyway. I mean, she does the washing up every now and then, so there's that. <sighs> Funny thing about Miranda is that I now have two sexually liberated lesbians in my ear telling me how white bread my relationship is. <laughs> Uh, maybe they have a point. Yeah, so this film, you know, explores the themes of love and, and heartbreak and jealousy and it's just all poured together into an electrifying dance. Humphrey! Jesus! Mask down! Sorry, I just... Buffoon! Sorry. Jesus Christ! <laughs> I present to you... <laughs> Barbarland. Okay, so, so this scene, it's, it's, it's an emotional outpouring. You see, you know, goats and sheep, they're not supposed to be together, right? But it, it's, like, it's like the waitress and, and the jazz teacher. But, but when they dance, it just feels right. Uh, one, one... No, 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 no questions. <laughs> okay. Right, <laughs> wonderful, here we go. Okay, ready? Roll the camera. And action! <laughs> cut! Cut! <laughs> Fucking hell, Humphrey, you're just not getting it, are you? Jesus Christ! Do you want me to actually sit just on sit it? Up, just straddle it. Just sit, okay. Yeah, okay, right, amazing. Work it. Right, come on. Yep, okay. Oh. You're smiling, okay. Tim. Tim, you need to smile. Big teethy grins. Come on. Think about gaming. There we go. Cheese. Are you smiling, Tim? Are you smiling? I'm smiling, yeah. Cheese. Okay. A bit constipated. Wow, they actually look like they're related. Yes, it's the best I've seen him, to be fair. I have to hand it to Chris. I don't think Tim hates him anymore. You know what, Dorian? I'm glad. Problem with Chris is he only has enough attention for one thing at a time. I is Chris not satisfying you? What? No! Oh my gosh! Oh, you mean like your feelings? Yeah, I guess. It's just like he has no idea how to read me and he doesn't understand me anymore and I just feel like I'm hitting... Hello? Ashley! Hi! Lovely to hear your voice. Um, is Chris around? Uh, yes. Is everything alright? <laughs> is everything alright? Is everything alright? Well, um, we've got, we've got a little bit of a problemo. Um, uh, the, the cult people are in your bedroom. <laughs> Wait, you're in our house? Crit! 
No, look, qu calm down. Look, I, I, I don't know what they want. I don't know. Like, like, yeah, it's fine. Okay, what do you want? <laughs> you get this? It's brilliant. Uh, lovely. So I'm just gonna roll on this. This is fantastic content. Are we rolling? Lovely. Perfect. Let's keep this up. Let's keep this up. Fantastic. Fantastic work! <laughs> this is perfect! Look, Adrian promised me that if I let him shoot in the house, he would do me a solid. I don't care what he promised you. He is a narcissistic drunk and you let him go wild in our house. It's unforgivable. I'm sorry, it was all going fine until the cult people turned up. It's not my fault! Oh, how convenient! I don't think I feel comfortable with cult people in my house. You know, Sabrina put a dead frog in my slipper once. I, I don't think I feel comfortable with any stranger in my house. It's not and your house. And that includes house. Miranda. Oh, excuse me? How dare you? I don't trust her is all. <laughs> Snowy, I don't think Miranda is as bad as Sabrina, okay? Yeah. I mean, she has a job. She watches Scandi dramas. Exactly. And for the record, she doesn't trust you and your male gaze. Gaze. Listen, if Adrian's in charge, something is bound to go wrong. Yeah, no, you're right. It is true. He ruined mini golf, and then he ruined outdoor cinema, and then he ruined uh, little Jackie's baptism. And now this. Yeah, why are you even friends with him, Chris? He stinks of cheap cider and strawberry vape juice. He's a nice guy. He's not even nice. He's just sucking up to you because he wants a room in our house. What, what are you talking about? Of course he does! Why else do you think he he's spent so much time with you? He's you got that nothing in Here will do. All he does is take advantage I of us. I don't think so. Of here will he do! Does. Oh, really? Yes. You might as well drop me off here, otherwise you have to take me back. Well, Tim. are you sure? Because we've got a long time until your train. I can wait. It sounds like you guys want to get back. Yes, I, I'm going to go with Tim. I, I don't want to be around for Chris versus Ashley around 12. Oh. At least let us... Oh, this is this is awful. Tim, come here, mate. Come here. This is going to have the best time. I'm sure I will. Oh, oh you're going to have a great time. Let us know when you learn. Yeah? I will. Thank you, guys. Of course. See you, tuna. See ya. If you want to be back for a we have a lot. We have a lot to talk about. Tim, stay safe. Right. Well, thank fuck we're out of that. Ah, oh, let's just go. Where's the station? This way. My perfect beach day was actually at the swimming pool back in 2017 when I was younger. We were at my friend Hussein's house. He's got this massive garden and, you know, we were playing ping pong all day and drinking cocktail slushies and listening to electronic dancing music. You know, it was a great day. And then it, it, it got a little out of hand. <laughs> we, uh, we convinced Marek to jump from balcony into swimming pool. And, and he almost makes it, but uh, <coughs> clips his head <laughs> on the way in. Crazy, right? Yeah. Now he has a, a little bit of a brain damage. One of Adrian's crew? Yes, sir. What the hell is going on here? Uh, How did it get this bad? I don't know. Can you take that mask off, please? Uh, Adrian said I'm not allowed to. I went to the bedroom to get changed and I saw these freaks in a ritual. Now they're doing it in the garden. How did they get in? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, for goodness sake. More! More of it! More! 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 This is great! More of this, please! More of this! Thank you! 
You are stars, trust me. These are Hollywood stars right here. Hollywood, Hollywood's calling. <laughs> Perfect. Talk about movie magic, am I right? Humphrey, Humphrey, where have you been? God damn it, get in here, get in here. Come here, come here. Sorry. Come here. Come in, this is perfect. <laughs> Are we listening? Are we listening to Adrian? Everybody listen to Adrian, thank you. Humphrey, 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 Humphrey to the camera, please. To the camera, Humphrey, Humphrey. Get it, early. Let's do that again, but let's do it inside the cult. No, I'll come first, I'll come first. Come here, come here. Here we go, here we go. I love it, I love it. <laughs> We're making magic, we're making magic. Here we go sheep people, sheep people, okay, okay, okay. Goats and sheep, goats and sheep, ready? Let's get it to the camera please, to the camera, lovely, lovely. Whoa. Strong man, strong man, Jesus. Oh, perfect, okay, here we go, lovely. Mm. Humphrey, Janet, Humphrey, Janet, come here please, come here. Horn yourself in. Ah, oh, you good sheep and goat. You good. Sorry, they can't see. They can't see. Janet, duck for fuck's sake, Janet, duck! Jesus Christ! Do I have to say it three more times? One more time, Janet. Janet, for fuck's sake, get out of the fucking place. Okay, guys. We're gonna need to wrap this up. It's gone a bit out of hand and we're going to need you to leave our home. I need more of this, more of this. More Guys. Right. Ashley, I tried. Mm. One more time, one more time. Sorry, I forgot to press record. Did I mean to kill the endangered turtle? No. But I did, so now I cannot go back to Mexico. Why didn't they tell you not to pick it up? Yeah, but they were shouting at me. It was too loud. I didn't hear what they were saying. Right. How did you even get in there? Sorry, gentlemen. What? Um, can't help but notice that you're standing dangerously close to that yellow line. What? Sorry, my friend. We did not realise. Oh, don't you why? It happens all the time. It's like people can't see this giant yellow line across the whole platform. <laughs> yes. Well, now we are moved. You know, I've worked here ten years, nine to five. I know all the ins and outs of this place, all the timings, all the delays. I've got it all stored right up here. Hmm. Well, I'm glad you've. Uh... Got it all stored up there, mate, because it would be carnage, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Let me tell you about Christmas Eve 2014. Okay, Jermaine obviously has the day off, so I'm up to my ear in customer complaints. And what happened was, it was the 714 from Ramsgate. It's a tricky little train, that one. This is beautiful. Right, I'm just going to get a little close up. Oh, we love the close up. <laughs> that was a sassy hiss. <laughs> We like a bit of naughty hissing. <laughs> Humphrey, Humphrey, now you come up to the orb and you look like you want it, that's it. Really engross the orb. We love the orb, that's it, perfect. Janet, you too, darling. You too, yes, please. Thank you. Okie dokie. Oh, okay, this is like an instrument. Okay, can everyone start with the instruments now? Everyone start. <laughs> Shut up! I've got your bloody orb, all right? I know what you do with these orbs, with this stupid orb. It's the Orb of Turmoil. What? The Orb of Turmoil. Okay. Look, I know what you're doing with these rituals, and I'm sure Sabrina is somehow involved in all of this, but frankly, I don't care. I just want to know how you got into my house. Well? We came in through the back door! It was left unlocked! Adrian! Chris! Chris, I, I, I promise it wasn't me. I promise I, I've been in the garden since our arrival. Okay, so, so uh, I, I would have seen them infiltrate. Uh, someone else must have access, I promise. No one else has access. Miranda has access. Do you think maybe she left the back door open, Tulip? I doubt it. Lesbians are pretty thorough. I'll give her a call. Tulip, I can explain. Just let me deal with Mummy and Daddy over here and then I'll tell you everything. Miranda, what the fuck? You're lucky I've been balancing my chakras. I should be ripping your fucking hair out by now! Wait, 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 wait. So not only did you let everyone in the house, but I want to know what you were doing in mine and Ashley's room. Chris, don't. Well, 
you see this orb has certain properties. When you leave it in an environment, it absorbs that environment's energy. And what energy was it absorbing? Chris. Failure. Tulip, I'm sorry. If it's any constellation, I really do <laughs> like you. Bullshit. It was all a lie. All a big fucking ruse. Are you even gay? Of course I'm gay. Look, it started off as a means to get into the house. Our sovereign Sabrina told us about this gold mine, but then over the course of things, I did actually start to, you know, fall in love. Oh, bullshit. You're a cliche. <laughs> Any last words? No! Everyone, <laughs> please get the fuck out of my fucking house! Seize her! Chris! You big, bearded, beautiful man! I'll see you in Hollywood! <laughs> What a day, huh? Uh, at least we have time to focus on us now, right? So I was thinking for our honeymoon. Uh, I got us two tickets to Miami and a stay at Adrian's beach house. Well, Ash, this is huge. We can finally put a date on our engagement. We can finally move forward. I just... I don't think that's a good idea. Well, why, why? Why? I think we should cancel the engagement. I don't think I will stay with Chris and Ashley that much longer. I like to learn, you know? And uh, Tim, Tim has taught me a lot. When to speak and when to be quiet, when to be serious and when to make joke. I don't think I have much more to learn now that Tim is gone. Stuart? Robbie. <laughs> oh. You thought you could run from me, eh, Stuart? No, no, no. I told you. Huh? You owe me a fiver. Oh, okay. All right. Hey. Oh, Robert, no! Please. Please. Stop the engine! Yeah, um, no, I think this family's really turned a corner, you know. Um, dysfunctional, yeah, insensitive, most definitely. 
but uh, yeah, they managed to look after me um, without even really realizing it, I think, so I'm sure they can look after each other. Thank you. 